Hi, this is the third 7.3 liter that we've gotten in this week and they've all had coolant leaks at the thermostat housing and they also all had new aftermarket water pumps on them. So I figured this, um, the aftermarket ones aren't sealing very, very well. I want to show you a couple things to look for and the difference why we're having issues with them. So first thing we want to do is verify the leak. Usually you see it around the base of the thermostat housing and sometimes you want to look close because it could be coming out of the back of the, uh, the thermostat housing area and going around the back of the front cover and making it look like it might be that. So inspect it really close around the hose, the nipple, and where the thermostat housing meets the water pump. Next, inspect your the thermostat housing and check to see if it's warped. Make sure you've got a good flat surface that it's on, that it is, and where it seals there, and make sure that it's not too pitted or rusted. This one looks pretty good. Okay, here we have the two thermostats. The aftermarket one here that was in there that was leaking. It's designed with just an O-ring on top. And then the other one, here's the Ford, where you see it actually has a seal that encompasses the whole thermostat and goes all the way around it. I have a lot better luck with the genuine like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put the thermostat in, clean it all off, and verify that the leak's taken care of. Okay, we've got the new genuine thermostat in there. Road tested it, got it hot, no more leaks. So it all seems pretty good. This one I was able to get away with by just by using the uh, genuine thermostat with a better style seal. And here you can see it's holding pressure. It's all good. It's been on there for about 10, 15 minutes. One other thing I want to just mention, whenever you have coolant leaks, make sure that you pressure check it hot and cold and also maybe running and just stagnant because a lot of times depending on where the leak is, it may show up when it's hot, it may show up when something's circulating or when something's moving or sometimes when it's cold. It just depends. Is it rubber? Is it the metal? Is it a crack? Is it a crack that's in between two? surface areas that expand when it gets hot or separate when it gets hot. So whenever you're looking for a coolant leak, make sure you check it running and also hot and cold if you can't find it. The only other point I can give you is before I ever do anything, before I ever open a cap and contaminate a whole area, I will just first thing do is a visual inspection and try to look. Because if you go and you pull a cap off and get coolant contamination all over from the pressure leaking out, now we're not able to do a proper diagnosis. So always, first thing, visual inspection. Then go and check it out. So this should work out for you. Thank you.